The overall goal of this procedure is to monitor and compare the aggregation kinetics of unmodified and hyperphosphorylated tau protein species. This is accomplished by first generating unmodified and hyperphosphorylated tau protein by the zippers assisted catalyst system. The second step is to set up the aggregation assays to be suitable for either of two different instruments. The tau aggregation process is monitored by the fluorescence of two different thioflavin dyes, thioflavin S and thioflavin T. The final step is to plot and compare the aggregation curves. Ultimately, the kinetic changes of thioflavin fluorescence from binding to aggregated tau species are used to show the hyperphosphorylation-dependent enhancement of tau fibrillation in vitro. Hi, welcome to our JLV article, In Vitro Aggregation Assays Using Hyperphosphory Tau Protein. My name is Min Hao Kuo, and the experiments will be conducted and demonstrated by De Xin Sui and Meng Yu Liu. For this protocol, have reasonably fresh aggregation buffer made within the last month. Just before its use, add dithiothreatol to 1 millimolar. Also required, a filtered thioflavin T or S stock solution, heparin stock solution, both storable at minus 20 degrees Celsius, and tau protein, stored at minus 80 degrees Celsius. Thaw the tau on ice, then adjust its concentration using the aggregation buffer as required. For consistency, spin down the tau with aggregation buffer at 20,800 G for 10.